So they're these dinner plate sized ferns and they're fixed to a foam backing. Now when you get your fern, you can either fix, take that off your foam and fix it to a tree or you can fix it to a board. So here's one we've done onto a board. We've used this stretchy tie, it looks a bit scabby but it's not, you're not going to see it for very long. Um, and that's tying that fern onto this board. So this board can then be fixed to a wall. So in that way you can have these big beautiful stag horns attached to your wall. So it does need to be something quite sturdy because they're really heavy. So make sure you've got a really strong fitting at the back. Uh, but they're really fabulous tree to uh, fern to grow. Frogs love them, they're beautiful. Here's a really splendid example of a staghorn fern and this one is mounted on the board as I showed you earlier. So you can see that once it matures you really can't even see the board let alone how you actually attached it to the board. And this one is quite a mature old specimen and it shows you the different type of fronds perfectly. So these big fronds here are the feeding fronds and what these do is they catch debris from the from the rainforest canopy and they actually make the nu nutrient that feeds the fern. And in here we've got some beautiful green tree frogs that make this fern home and it's a really fabulous, it gives us this lovely architectural look. And these fronds, these are actually the fertile fronds. So if you have un a look underneath these, this is where the spores are and this is how these ferns actually make new babies. So during wet and moist weather, the spores from this fern will float off into the forest and they'll attach themselves to trees and make new ferns. And that should just brush off from the underside. So there's an example of what they look like. So it's a really gorgeous fern to have in your garden. You can grow them on your wall like this one is. You can put them on trees around your yard.